Let's simulate a conversation that would come from the rake widget on our website as if a customer or a prospect wanted to reach out to us. The first thing I'll do in a separate window is start a message. And what you'll see is a big blue bar notification and bells and whistles that ring. We want to make sure you know someone's trying to contact you. And so there we have it, the big notification. We get a separate notification down here, and then also over here on the left. And then also over here on the left, you'll see the chat has started. So I can hit go just to check on who it is, and then I'll hit start and I'll reply to the chat. And you'll see that this conversation is happening here. This is the experience the consumer is getting. And so the consumer will type, Can I schedule and will continue to get notifications as they reply. We can reply back to them any way we want. If we want to add a link to schedule an appointment, if we want to include an attachment, we can do that. We really can do quite a bit, even include emojis. We can tag this person as a visitor. We could ask their name. So this would be Mr. Smith, and best practice would be to create a record for this person. We didn't get their first name, and that's okay. We can get it over time, but we could enter Smith for last name and hit save, and that person's name would start to appear as opposed to just this asterisk that you see here. So the conversations are easy to pick up, and it's easy to have very quick back and forth with the consumer. This is one way Rake is helping you connect with as many people as you can.